All right, every uh oh, hello, is my camera frozen? Am I looking at the camera now? It's hard to tell because OBS is over here. Uh, yeah, my headset's going out. It's driving me a little crazy. But sometimes I can hear in my left ear. Sometimes I can hear in both. Okay. So today, I'm going to be doing a lot of grinding. Although I do need to find the last sprout. I don't even know how many rubies I need, though. I've got ten. I guess I could always open up the crosscode wiki and see if it will tell me. Oh. Give me a second while I look that up. Ruby. At rank C to boot. Hmm. Okay, that's odd. Base and keep enemies. Do they not have any information here? They might not. I also I wonder where that last stone is. Okay, well let's go with ten for now. Let me check something. How many different areas are there? Autumn's Rise, Autumn's Fall, Bergen Trail, Maroon Valley, Sapphire Ridge. Oh, Gaia's Garden doesn't have one? Did I miss one? One second. Oh, no, no, no. Dumb. I'm surprised there wasn't one for Gay's Garden. See how long I can tolerate the headset thing. Level 58. Oh, this is going to be fun. Tier 3? I might not have a Tier 3 melee art. Oh, I do. I was dodging and he hit me. I guess I wasn't dodging when he went for the, the grab. Moonstone. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, they actually don't have any vulnerabilities. Missed. It's too far away. I just wasted that SP because I was blocking. I not look down right now. Okay, vulnerable to shock? Oh, he is vulnerable to shock and fire. So he's on fire and shocked. Tell what he's doing, so I don't want to get too close to him. He said he was good at my place. And they kept escaping their compound, they just climbed over the fence. Pas de problem. So you had goods all over the zoo, it was awesome. Huh. Oh, I'm reaching critical. I don't even know how many moonstones I've gotten. Shoot, corpses everywhere. 
think the easiest way to kill the bovines is going to be lighting them on fire, letting them take tick damage. I can't even see what's going on over there, so I'm just gonna shoot. I did like nothing to him. A ruby? Was that because these enemies? Uh, I don't know where to go to fight more enemies. Level up! Phew, what a rampage. We have eight moonstones, I think we need two more. I'm guessing that they're dropping from like the hedgehogs. Pretty into fighting, aren't you? Mm hmm. Okay, I think... Oh, diamonds? Oh, gee, you just keep going. Oh, they're more vulnerable to shock.
Penguins and mountains, that's a thing in Crossworlds. At least I have some water around here. You know, penguins like to live in temperate areas, too. In fact, only a few of them live in colder climates, and none of them lives on mountains, right? Right. Ah, I missed. I wish there was a way to cancel special arts. You ever plan to stop, Leah? No? Ruby. This is the page that tells me where I can find them. Dang it. Told me. Oh, now it says where they're from. Moonstone is from Bergen. So there's two that drop in Bergen Trail? Hold on, let me pull up the. Uh... Rhombus Square. Oh, there is a Gaius Garden Booster. Why didn't I pick it up then? Let's see, we have Garnets, Diamonds, Amethyst, Lapis Lazuli, Citrine. Uh, I wonder if I can find... Like a guide that will tell me... Different enemies in the same area drop different stuff. Let's check the monster fibula real fast. Sort by area. Oh, that's Autumn's Fall. So Autumn's Rise is Ruby's. 
What about Virgin Trail? Moonstone, Diamond. Moonstone, Diamond. Moonstone. Okay. So some so drop diamonds and some drop moonstones. Kuroda's drop diamonds. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Reckoning has come. Yeah, we're on a roll. Dang it, I wanted to do the melee art. How? You just keep going. Yeah. Ice cream! Don't even think about licking these snowmen, Ronnie. 
What, what, what? I'm not even sure they even taste like anything. No, you don't know that. But now I'm curious. Don't like the snow man, Tronner! <laughs> how grinding works. You kill a bunch of stuff. Okay. Level up again. Phew, what a rampage. Yes, my dear. Okay. Let's go to... Oh, Sapphire Ridge still has some things. Let's go to Maroon Valley and kill some stuff. Actually, let's save. So before we save, let's check our circuits. I only have three regulars. It's not enough to get attack circuit. I want Gatling turret so bad. Shock. Wait, didn't I have access to a balance in shock? Yeah. Let's get that. Do the other ones not have a balance? Oh, that one has, like, a regular balance. No, this one doesn't. Oh, Lightning Prophecy. Oh, I've seen that move. It's a pretty cool move. Wave. I don't have enough to do anything in Wave, I don't think. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what to go for next in wave. What is this one? Oh, these are dash arts. Pretty sure it got throw arts, yeah. You know what? Let's get shooter. Um, I think almost everything I have left in the normal one is going to cost me four or more, except for Azure Search. Ooh. Where's the balance at? Oh, it's under dash. Okay. Leg work, heat armor. Are these the melee? No, these are guard arts. Where are the melee? Where's the melee art at? Flame jab. Oh no, I got the melee one. Oh, okay. Trying to decide if I want any of these arts. Man, I'd love to get the balance. Do I get the embers or do I get the sun? I like the sun. That sounds cool. There's another level 3 art. Okay, I just need two more and I can get the Gatling artillery for ice. I think the only one I have for ice is the guard art, right? Yeah, Crystal Keeper. I 
What is this? Oh, these are melee arts. Oh. Polar Pirouette, Eternal Winter. What was the alternate? Yeah. I'm gonna swap out Frozen Star, even though I've used Frozen Star forever. I want that Gatling artillery so bad it hurts. Okay. Oh, wait, no. This safe file. Wow. After we acted that boost thing, like, everything is suddenly... Like... Giving so much more experience. <laughs> well, it makes sense, I guess. If you're interested in joining some Final 14, I don't know. I don't play Final Fantasy 14, but thanks though. Survive up to one year with just one meal. Whoa. That's cool. Johnny. I don't know. I don't know if I can afford to pick up an MMO right now. It's an MMO, right? 14? Or am I getting confused with 11? I don't know. I'm dying. Okay. Yep, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I start. They, my friends got me back into Diablo three, into the latest season, so. That's... Plus, I've been playing this game. This game's totally an MMO. No, I'm kidding. But Savage, how are you doing, man? What you been up to? Oh, no. I forget how to fight these things. Ice and wave. But how's that not hitting him? But it's hitting so hard. Oh no, that one doesn't heal me. Oh, ow! 
Okay, let's... Some food. Ow! Goodness, these things are hard to kill. How did he get up there? Seems a little unfair. A clanishing going, you're working away to Apex Anthem Divinity. Two Kingdom Hearts? Oh! Fun. I've seen Apex. I don't know if Apex. Is that another free game? Or is that a paid game? Yep, it's a free game. Kingdom Hearts 3. I have yet to get Kingdom Hearts 3, actually. Granted, I have yet to also set up my PlayStation 4, so... has so much HP. Why am I fighting one of these? Whoa, 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 hold on. Best thing ever getting a remote play for PS4, play it for my comp- <gasps> You can do that. How do I do that, Savage? Tell me. How do I do that? Tell me now. Please. Because <laughs> if I could do that, then I don't have to worry about setting up another monitor just for the PS4. Hardly any lag if you run over the ethernet. Ooh. See, that's the thing. The, uh, the router is upstairs, and I don't know if I want to leave my PS4 up there. I don't know if I trust my roommates enough. So. Because there's been times when they've left the door, like, wide open, so... I did not even see that guy.
Give it a go, Riley Boralkosk. Hello, how are you? I've seen your name in Derivative's Discord. How's it going? Message you the stuff. Okay. I could guess I could try it over wireless. Can't be too bad. And it's good to hear. Uh Wonder how well that would is that how you do it when you stream though? Do you do the uh, remote play when you're streaming? Doing good, you're doing well. Ah, both work for me. I'm not that much of a stickler. As long as you spell things approximately right, I might get it. Right? Let's have some fun. By the way, you don't need the wireless dongle thingy. Claims you can just plug in the controller directly. Oh, like directly into the computer? That would be pretty cool. Nice. Very nice. Well, that's some useful information. Ah, oh, dang it. I just walked right into that one. Oh gosh, he's behind the tree. I couldn't hit him. thought this game was a different game, but now I remember this one coming out. Yeah, it came out last year. I always see that you're playing this game. I'm glad to finally see it in that. Oh, this game is so much fun. I don't know. I've never played a mana game, so... I don't know how that would relate, but... I'm trying to think of... This game, it's basically an action RPG. And it's set in an MMO, which is kind of a fun... I guess other, other people have done it before. I mean, you've got the deck dot hack sign series that does that. What you'll see is what I do is you have four different elements in the game because I'm basically at the end game, so I have all the elements unlocked. Each of them does something a little different, so. Problem though is if I stay in an element mode too long, I start to overload, and then I'm forced to go into non-element mode. So I have to switch into what's called neutral every so often just to let it cool down.
Oh, he's, uh... Oh, he's frozen, though. I'll make him a little easier to deal with. Or chilled. So what I'm doing is I'm gr going around grinding these high-level ma materials from the area. I don't remember how to fight the vultures, though, so this could be interesting. Flying animals, flying enemies are usually super obnoxious in this game because there's no way to aim up at them. One down. Throughout Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. Ew, what a rampage. Oh, yeah. Um. I only have four citrines. Oh, it's not very specific on where they come from, though. I don't like flying enemies in most games. Yeah, and some games are not so bad. Well, in Terraria, I guess they are super obnoxious until you get a nice air of effect weapon to hit them with. Um, what am I looking for? Here we go. Show me by area. What drops citrines? So Tim's drop them, Vulture's drop them. Oh, that's a different area. Okay. Oh, it's not sorting. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about this game, is some of the menus feel super clunky. But part of that is because... Oh, these are just bosses. Part of the reason it d they do that is because they didn't want to make any special controls for the PC release that the console release didn't have. So. Um. What does this guy drop? I wonder if. Do temple enemies drop anything special? Oh, what is this temple called? Fajro Temple? Did I see what that was? Sorry, I keep checking these things because this is the only way to see where enemies are. Like, the wiki doesn't even seem to have this. Okay, so I see citrines drop from the moss. Those things are a pain to fight, too. Magma misers drop citrines. Try jelly. Okay, so all of the monsters in here are gonna drop citrines, so let's just go in here and fight a bunch of these monsters, but I'm gonna be solo though. Never play mana series or just understand it to be the simplest turn in terms of action RPG. Equivalent of a Final Fantasy. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people play them. Okay, all I need to do is actually find out where the enemies are in here. That's gonna be half the fun. Because this temple was the second temple in the game. I just went in a big loop and found no enemies. Shit. Okay, this is a mini boss area. This is where I actually grabbed, I think, the cold element. 
Welcome back. Maybe if I go up, I can find enemies? I don't know. This is funny, normally it's... Granted, I think this is the first time I've actually tried grinding. For, um, loot drops. Inside a temple. At least I don't have to worry about making my way around. Cause every Goodness, where are all the enemies at? They might even be in the same universe. True. Hmm. Oh, here's an enemy. Nice. What are the moss venerable too? Ice as well. Crap, engaging the moss might have been a mistake. One moth is dead. Thankfully I can like lure the moths using these pillars. Oh no, he grabbed me. Yeah, the ricochet, they actually use that a lot in puzzles. Oh. Where you have to bounce things certain ways. What if I lit you on fire? Okay, you don't seem to like me getting close to you. I got grabbed. Oh! Okay, that's how you break them. Oh, really? I didn't get any citrines from that. Oh, here we go. Almost on fire. Okay. Oh, I bounced and got him. Level up. And I'm on fire. 
I don't know if I've gotten a single citrine from these guys, though. Hmm. No, I haven't seen a single citrine. Bummer. Okay, um... Okay, this room's a giant dead end. Let's see if I can find a bigger group of enemies to kill. Oh no, this is the boss fight area. I may just have to go back to the uh, regular valley area to farm these guys. I mean, how do I get over there? Oh, I can just walk through here. Okay. Oh, goodness. Forgot about it. It's a super moth. Okay. Oh, I don't even get ranks in the dungeon. Does that mean I can't even get... Oh no, I just got some citrine. Okay. All these fiendish puzzles. Oh gosh, this room. That room. That room was rough. I remember that. Dang, where are all the enemies at? I thought there were more enemies in this temple. At least I remember fighting tons and tons of moss. Just like moss everywhere. Yeah, I'm... Well, actually, I'm saving up to get some, uh... Of the high-end gear in the game. And the only way to get it is to fight the boosted enemies, so... Huh... Some interesting timing puzzles. Oh. I did not want to engage the big guy.
Oh, I'm dying. attack is like really hard to dodge. Let's have sandwich. There we go. You're a lot easier to manage when you're chilled. Go figure. Some secret to what happens if I shoot him with fire? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Too much fire! Guy's finally dead. Da, 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 da. Gateway, test of strength. Oh, I can't get over to the test of strength. Okay, let's get a, try to get a few more citrines and then I guess call it good for this area. Maybe go see what I can craft. Mini boss area.
Sadly, these maps don't seem to show where... Oh, you know what? I could be marking where the enemies are. I could be putting stamps down. Like... Oh, I was in the wrong element. There we go. No drops, though. What was this one? Right chamber? Hmm. There's some Tims in here. It's really hard to fight two of these at once.
squishy teeth. Oh no, get out of the sand. citrines do I have? I only have five. Goodness, these things are going to be a pain to farm. Let's actually... Is this the booster area? I missed one of these. Oh, garden booster. Woohoo! Okay, I own all the boosters now. Is this the aha? Hmm. I can't get those. Where do I get antique tokens? I'm weird tell me I'm missing one trader that can give me antique token. Antique token trader is somewhere in here. Oh, this guy is the one that sells them. Oh, I need lapis lazuli, which I don't have. What should I get? Let's see. I could get a weapon, a headpiece, old caliber status rush, sold HP regen. Oh, I love HP regen. Oh, you know, I just realized I think we're using. I think we're using our best equipment. Well, we kind of are. Okay. So we weren't too far off. Um, let's get... When do we get the weapon? What do I need? I need four spice sets. Who can I trade with to get spice sets, though? Is there anyone here I can trade with? Records, trader book. Vermilion Wasteland, Sapphire Ridge. Oh wait, not Sapphire Ridge. I'm in Rhombus Square, right? None of them. Okay. Ricky Harbor. I guess I need to go to Ricky Harbor and trade for some spice sets. Three or four of them. So, Ricky Harbor trading area. Yes. Thankfully, fast travel in this game is really. There's like next to no loading time from what I've seen. Um, is it you? Oh, you do have spice sets. Ah, uh, but I don't have materials. Okay. Let's 
let's try Bakikum. Oh, one of you's gotta have- aha! Spice sets. Oh no, I want to go to Ramba Square again. Pick up that weapon. The Hydra Fang. Woo! Piece of level 61 gear. Oh, okay. What's giving me the negative EX trainer, I wonder? Um, I think you're the one that had the chest piece. Ah, dang it. I need five lapis lazuli. Wait, what? A level 68 weapon? <gasps> oh, I can't afford it though. Look at how expensive that is. <sighs> oh my goodness. How do I earn, how do I get money? Yeah, I'm too poor to afford these things. <laughs> oh no. some stuff. Um Can I sort by owned? No. Now some of these things I think I've got maxed out, yeah. Planters. now become a selling stuff stream because I made one piece of gear and went bankrupt like wow Code what equipment to keep? Hmm. <laughs> 
See, I'm kind of scared of selling stuff in case it's used to craft something else. Which is a thing in this game. Cross code gear used to craft gear. Oh, there's a little thing here that has a used for trading. Okay, that'll make it a little easier. So... Rookie Blade... Edge of all... Actually, both of you... Bronze Edge... Villain trigger taken. Gotta sell all the old stuff. Copper gold rock splitter. Prickly bracer is used for trading. Okay. Cannot be sold. Hidden blade. What does this one give? Okay. I'm gonna sell my ears. Sneaky shiz. Don't want to sell the shiny br bracer, I'm pretty sure. Woo! Um. I apologize if this isn't the most interesting stuff in the world. But this is how grinding works. Or farming. Farming is not always super entertaining. Okay. Used for... Oh, really? There's only one thing in here that's used for training? Okay. But I thank you, or thanks everyone for hanging out, nevertheless. Wait, I'm not selling anything really good, right? Actually, let's not sell the, the climate cow. Let's keep at least one semi-decent piece of gear. Chest? No. Maybe it's a belt? Maybe? Hello? Website? Okay, rookie belt, second hide. Wow, I remember when I got the bovine armor. Tattered satchel, prison pouch, blue fiber road, infinite bag, golden chest plate. Okay, so it looks like most of the stuff that's used is for, or is yellow stuff.
Hmm, nothing about feet. Show me feet. Wait, I think that might be against two less. Used for trading. I, wait, none of them are? Really? Huh. Uh, oh, that gives me Ice Skater. I don't want to get rid of that one. Wow, I really... Well, okay, I guess a lot of mine are unsellable. Let's just sell the sandwiches. Oh, I've got a ton of these. I've just got a ton of consumables, because I don't remember to use them. Okay, check out. Got some really cool gear this time. You did, did you? What kind of gear are you guys using? Wow, they're using, like, store-bought gear. They're higher level than me, level, level than me though. I am totally going to judge them. So where do I- I want to get- How do I get the infinity bag? Oh, I need the infinite bag. Plate of chests. Armor crafted from chests of any kind. Protect precious values naturally radiate towards it. Oh, cool. Um, actually, does anyone else sell chess pieces? Like a regular? Okay. Oof. Because I would like to get my... Okay. The problem with the golden chess plate and stuff is that it... It decreases how much experience I get, so... I think I'm pretty... Okay, let's see if I can find a good helmet now. Okay. Serene Bubble. Balance and HP regen. Furious Headband Brawler. You know what? I love HP regen in this game. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, I've got level 61 gear. And I'm level 58. Oh, do I go try to finish the story now? Or work on the story, I guess? There are some chests I can go find in Gaia's Garden. I don't know if I feel like doing the PvP fight right now, though. Why don't we... I don't know. Okay, well, let's go try it again. Um, party... Thanks for the party! That was fun, anytime again. Okay. Let's go to... Is it old hideout? Sapphire Ridge... Yeah, no, there's three chests in there. I haven't figured out how to get to them yet. Come to think of it, how many chests am I missing? I'm missing three other chests somewhere. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this fight. But it should be a little easier, because... This time I've got better gear. Let's see if I can actually beat 
my clone this time. Hi there, Shizuka. Hello again. Hi. Still cooking, I see. Did you just forget everything I told you? No? Oh, that's just wonderful. So the bot is fully aware of itself and it doesn't even matter anymore. Then you simply escape your prison, re-enter the playground, just strolling around with my memories. Like they're yours to use freely. Can somebody please just delete you already? Oh, I'd love to just rip your head off. But what does it even matter in this cursed simulation? If only I knew the machine you're running on, I'd gladly crush those circuits myself. <sighs> sorry? Don't you dare just sorry me like that. You know exactly why you're here. You plan to see him, and I won't let you. Why? You have no right to see him. You have no right to exist. All you should do is disappear. Since you don't do, won't do that, I will fight you right here, right now. As long as it takes you to give up. Gotcha. Gotcha! Haha, <laughs> I won run one. Still warming up. Right. That's what they all say. <laughs> Don't let go to your head, I was just testing you. Really now. Curse you! What is even your point?
Okay, I just gotta stay in wave mode and regenerate, basically. Oh shoot, I don't know what this move is. Ow. Dang it. This is gonna hurt. Flawless victory. We're not done yet. Just because you win doesn't mean I'll let you proceed. Next duel. What? Dang it, she dodged. Okay. So if I want to hit her with my big move... She's really hard to hit with ranged attacks. How does she keep getting behind me? Why do you keep going, you stupid program? This is harassment? This other player is harassing me? Oh. Yes? No, it's nothing. How do you know? Fine. You can enter. Oh, I got two levels from that fight. Restless Frustration Achievement. Defeat Shizuka in the Hold Hideout at least once. Okay. Cool. Okay. This way. This is weird. She, like, absolutely hates me. He's waiting inside. Hi? It, is that? It, it really happened. Satoshi, finally we found you. Leah, you are here. To 
Does that mean, is he with you as well? Huh? Mm-hmm. All right, this way, please. Make sure he can read the number of this device. It's possible to connect to it using an IDN client. Oh, just make sure to look at that number, Leah. Closely at that number, Leah. All right, one moment, please. Satoshi, I'm so glad to see you again. Same for me, it has been too long. I thought Satoshi died. S Sergi, is that you? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but before we continue, let me start a little program. Uh-oh. Isn't the weather just fantastic to get? What? Oh. So lots of talk. Okay, so it's some kind of disruption thing. So he has a lot of people talking, so he can't be overheard. All right, let's say this. Let's stay close and talk quietly. This room is monitored. Having this noise around us should sufficiently mess with the protocol, at least for some time. I see. Well, then allow me to get straight to the point, Sergi. You know already know about the Evotars. Is Leah aware about herself as well? Yes, she is. Mhm. Mm Good. This will make things much easier. Leah, let me start by saying that you are. F are, in fact, the first functional Evotar, minus a few remaining technical issues like your malfunctioning speech module. Why? Wait, so I didn't imagine it. You can talk? Partially, I hard-coded a few words into her module. I wasn't even aware that was an option. You always manage to surprise me, Sergi. It is nothing. Please go on. Right. Let me tell you what happened after Gotham, Shizuka, and I left Instatainment. Despite countless attempts, we failed to convince Instatainment to support our research. It was in that hopeless moment that we met a certain person. Mr. Benedict Sidwell. That's the name he gave us, at least. We never met him in person and knew very little about him. Yet he believed in our vision and offered his support. And indeed, with his help, we continued our research on Evatars. He provided us with everything we needed. Technical equipment, confidential specifications, and most of all, a test environment within the playground. We managed to continue our research within Crossworlds. Instatainment never interfered. To this day, I don't know how he did it. Things started within the sm this small area of Sapphire Ridge. However, over time, we realized that a larger testing area was required for effective research. That's how we ended up in Vermilion Wasteland, a discontinued extension to the playground. Mr. Sidwell made it ours for research. We called it Evotar Ground. The new location wasn't the most appealing, but it certainly helped with our re research. It didn't take us long to reach our first major milestone. Our first avatar, Leah, was born, derived from Shizuka's avatar. Back then, things were going rather well. We made so much progress, it was exciting. Following prototypes have proven to be almost feature complete. It was at that point that a long, lingering question started to emerge. What exactly should we do with those Evotars? Around that time, Mr. Sidwell made requests for additional features. He wanted to know if we could extract memories from Evotars. The memories of the original players. Hence, his original intent became clear to us. He made us to develop a system to gather intelligence from players of Crossworlds. The method works on any player of Crossworlds. First, we apply a custom crosscode to the target player, overriding the original. And after a short learning phase, we decouple it again. From then on, the modified crosscode can be run autonomously. The Evotar is born. In order to fully regain their memory, the Evotar needs to spend some time within the Evotar ground. But as soon as this is complete, we gather the intelligence. It turns out you can't simply extract their memory. But of course you can interrogate an Evotar just like any person. Interrogate them with virtually no restraints on the technique. The method worked. We managed to collect highly confidential information in secret without leaving any trace. Of course, once we discovered what kind of business we started, we ended up in, we started to protest. We never intended Evotars to be used in that manner. We were ready to drop everything, however, it was too late for that. We'd broken several agreements with our ex-employer, that's why we've been reluctant to report anything to the authorities. And even when we considered doing that, Mr. Sidwell managed to blackmail us into submission. His intention was clear. If any of us tried to leave, our days would be numbered. Hmm. 
Well, not that it mattered to me. Do you mean your heart disease? Please do not tell me. I'm sorry, Satoshi. You... The Satoshi you knew died two years ago. Standing in front of you is the Evotar of Satoshi. Ah, okay. I, I myself created this copy as an offer to Mr. Sidwell so I could continue to serve him. In return, I wanted to let Shizuka go. I was naive to ever think he'd fulfill his end of the agreement. I, I cannot believe this. Don't feel sorry, Sergi. Nothing could have been done about my disease anyway. Becoming an Evotar is the only option for me to stay in this world. Uh-oh. We need to switch rooms now, otherwise the masking will lose its effect. Follow me. Satoshi. Yeah. I knew he was dead. A system to extract information from players. This is unbelievable. Kind of breaks the atmosphere, doesn't it? We're not here to have a good time, Shizuka. So, you are now an Evotar. Can you move around the freely in the playground? No, these days I'm confined within this building. That is also why I know little of what is happening outside. Are you aware that Leah has been in the Evotar ground again recently? Suspected it from some protocol readings I had access to. Suppose they tried to drag Leah back into it. Yes, and once she was there, they could effectively track her connection. They almost managed to locate me. I mean, Sidwell is already fully aware of your actions. This is troublesome. Something else, I wonder. How did Leah learn the truth about herself? You do not know? Your little sister paid us a visit. You did? She confronted Leah with the truth very abruptly. Not again. I don't see the problem. I merely told her the truth. You knew full well what consequences your actions could have had. Well, it happened. We can't change it now. Glad Leah was strong enough to overcome it this time around. Yes, congratulations, Leah. We're also very proud of you. Shizuka, stop acting like a child. Excuse me? You never stopped acting like a freak. Only caring for your dear little AI sister. Enough already! Look, I know you have your issues with Leah, but I need you to understand one thing. She's our best chance to get out of this mess, both of us. What do you mean? It's thanks to her that we got in contact with Sergi. Not only that, but she's the only one who can reach the Evotar server. Why is now the first time I hear of this? I wouldn't, couldn't share this with you or anybody else. We're all being monitored. It would have jeopardized the whole plan. Anyway, with both Sergi and Leah's help, we might be able to get everyone out of this. You, me, maybe even Gotham. Hmm. The Evotar server, it is the host for all Evotars with the exception of Leah. It's located within the playground itself, somewhere deep inside the dungeon compound of Evotar ground. Access is highly limited. Only Evotars with an embedded access key can enter the area without triggering the self-destruct sequence. Remote administration is disabled entirely with the exception of one command, the deletion of all data. It is Sidwell's final trump card. The server is impossibly hard to reach, and even if we tried, he could wipe its data at any time. It would put an end to almost any Evotar in existence, including myself. Hmm... For Shizuka and Gotham, there might have been a slim chance to escape this whole mess, but for me, it was close to impossible. However, now that Leah is here, things have changed. Because she has ac an access key embedded, she can reach the Iwutar server. Come again? Why does Leah have the key out of old people? Because I tricked Sidwell into giving it to her. I faked a malfunction of Leah's Iwutar. I told Sidwell that the best chance to fix it would be to inspect the state of the Iwutar and the server side by side. While Leah was still connected. However, I wasn't allowed access to this I wasn't allowed to access the server. As a compromise, I convinced Sidwell to go to the server together with Leah. He attempted to debug the issue while I provided remote support. In order to do that, Leah was given the access key. Mmm. Despite all the efforts, I told him that the issue could not be fixed. The final attempt, Leah was relocated to my personal development server. But ultimately, I concluded that she was broken for good. I was tasked with deleting her. Instead, I secretly sneaked her back into the official game servers, hidden within a small data corruption of the database. Once where I was certain that an old colleague would eventually be tasked with looking into it. Oh yes, that data corruption, what the heck. You really did not go easy on me. I had to make sure that not just anyone could fix it, and it worked. Honestly, all of this was a huge gamble, and here you are. 
You received my message and found me. And now we need to figure out how Leah can reach the Evotar server before Sidwell has a chance to wipe its data. I or and I already have a few ideas I'd like to discuss with you in detail, Sergi. Of course. Let's relocate back to the previous room. From here on out, Sergi and I will dive into technical details. You do probably don't want to stick around for that. Maybe sometime time together, well, talk it out. She can't talk. Come on, you know what I mean. Do I really have to? Please, dear sister. Fine. Because they're like twins. All right. Oh, no. What should we do? Honestly, there's nothing interesting to see in this building, and anyway, I hate it in here. Let's just head outside. Okay. The whole area is just so terribly delimited. No way to move around. Mm. Still, there's a little spot at the lake over there. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. This spot is pretty nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Certainly better than anything you'll find in Vermilion Wasteland. Let's sit down for a bit. Mm hmm. So what words can you say exactly? Hi, bye, Leah, how, why, wait, sorry. Hmm, that's it? Mm-hmm. Must be bothersome. Also, still wearing those horns. Eh. So you hate them too? Eh. They're the worst, aren't they? Mm-hmm. That old happened because of a stupid joke. I often complain that horns don't fit the Seeromancer design at all. So of course one day Sergi gifted them to me. Very funny. Eh? Then they'd always log into my account and equip them. Those idiots. Eh. And now you ended up with them. Sorry for that. Why? Don't ask me. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, at least they left you. Th at least they left you the scar. Hmm. Scars are badass. Mm hmm. Guess we both have the same taste. Makes sense. But you're lucky, you know that. Hmm. You missed the worst stuff. You didn't have to witness your brother dying in front of you. The futility of the whole situation. Mm. They just kept you in that room all the time? Taking care of you? Sorry. Shut up. Don't be sorry. Honestly, none of this is your fault. If anything, I should apologize for what I did to you. The whole situation has been going on for so long already. I just don't know what to do anymore. How much longer I can take this? Hmm. Oh, stop that. <laughs> hmm? How can you be like this after all the things I did to you? Hmm. It's too soon. Getting all touchy like that. That is nothing like me. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I rubbed her shoulder. Hi. You two are still at it? I think we're done for the most part, though there is one more thing. Shizuka, how's Gotham doing these days? Well, I didn't speak much with him recently. He's busy designing his levels and flying around in his fancy avatar. Seems content enough. Gotham, it might be especially difficult to get him out of this. We did in fact meet him while we were in the Evotar ground. From what we saw, it looked like he was physically located in the playground. Could that be the case? Yes. Somehow Sidwell convinced him to do that. It's easier to keep him under control that way. Well, Gotham was already excited about creating his own worlds. The prospect of experiencing it in person was quite appealing to him. Really, I think he's a lost cause. He's stuck in his fantasy world playing his little god figure. The blue avatar with orange clothing? Yes, that's him. That is unexpected. He acts like such a different character. That's the whole point. In any case, we should try to figure out if he's on our side or with this or not. Shizuka, could you try talking to him about this? Just hinting at what is happening? I can try. Well then, I think I have a good grasp of the situation now. We still need time for preparations though. Certainly, if you have any more questions, you know how to reach me. Yes, I'm glad I was able to meet both of you again. Same for me. One last thing, though. Yes? Looking at what Sidville accomplished so far, I'm certain he has specific ways to track your actions. Because of that, please be extra careful if you plan to involve any other player. I will, and I already have my suspects. Hmm? Well then, goodbye and see you soon. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. You too, Leah. Phew, that was a lot to take in, correct? <sighs> so what to do next? 
Oh right, we should head back to east of Sapphire Ridge. Specifically to that old dojo where you got the meteor shade. According to Satoshi, entrance to Evotar ground is hidden in that area. I'd like to have a look at it. You need that teleport for a quick connection to the dojo. Oh. Okay, we're at the old dojo. The head out hidden entrance should be somewhere towards the east. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there for now. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of story. Holy crap. Oh, we got some new encyclopedia entries. So the blue avatar is actually Gotham. Whoa. Centric Bizzer and Cold calculating. There's one player we're missing. I was just wondering which of the players is actually the one. It would have had to have been someone who was doing the raid so they knew the timing. Could it be Trani? Could it be Emily? Honestly, I'd feel super betrayed if actually it was one of them. Like one of the, uh, one of my original friends. Oh, that would be, that would be painful. I almost want to bet that it's one of them, though. Legwork, heat armor. Do I have anything that can increase my damage? Defense, cold resistance. Steady shot berserker. Or do I go and start unlocking some of these? Fire trail. Cause I could get more bullet balance bullets. Leg work, eh. Oh here we go. Attack, focus, focus. Okay. Do I have enough to get the ice? Oh, I have enough to get the ice gatling now. Nice. I want to get balance next. Flashed up is kind of nice. Indigo or lightning prophecy. I thought it was indigo prophecy. Indigo prophecy is something else entirely. Activate those. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like running out of things that I want to actually get levels for. HP attack, wave armor, mark protect, mark rush. I think I want mark rush more than mark protect, so. Let's activate those. It's gonna be four more CP and I can get a mark. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, these are dash arts. That actually sounds kind of cool. See, I'm just really bad at remembering that I can do dash arts, so I normally just don't do dash arts. So. Melee damage. Okay. I'm gonna save again. And return to the title screen. And I don't know if anyone's around for a raid, so I'm just going to go host a friend of mine. Let's see who's on. I'm going to go host my friends over at Couch Quest Live. They're playing some Hellblade. They're really great people. Any Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. For lurking. Um... I really want to finish this game. I feel like it's really close to the end, like maybe a few more hours. I can always do all the grinding and stuff off screen unless anybody really, really wants to see that. Anyways, everyone, have a good night. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.